BASF started a project in cooperation with partners in which chemically recycled plastic waste in form of pyrolysis oil can be used in production. Small quantities of really new chemical products have already been produced on the basis of recycled plastic waste. In these products, the recyclate proportion is mathematically assigned by the mass balance method. The products are currently being tested by customers. The examples show that chemical recycling is feasible despite some technical and regulatory challenges. Together with customers, the following prototypes were developed in tests within the ChemCycling project. We are a composite film manufacturer. We supply the food industry, mainly the cheese industry. In the food industry today, you have to rely on films being high-tech. High-tech films consist of more than 10 layers and are extremely thin. However, this packaging can be problematic, because mechanical recycling does not actually produce good quality plastic that can be recycled in the future. BASF has now embarked on a new path, and this will give us new granules that we can use for food, as virgin material. This is the best solution. This is the recycling of the future. The next stop for the high-tech films produced by Zutpak using recycling materials is the Zott Dairy in Matting in Germany. There, the ChemCycling project is in the test phase for the packaging of Zotterella, the trademark mozzarella by Zott. Along the entire value chain, we are constantly examining where we can become even more sustainable and how we can meaningfully expand our sustainability standards. In addition, there is also a rethinking among consumers. Today, more than ever, they expect that high-quality, sustainably produced foods such as our Zotarella are packed as resource-friendly as possible. We have high quality and hygiene requirements for our packaging and its barrier function. It was therefore important to us to be part of this pilot project right from the beginning, to introduce our requirements and experience and to participate in a functionally identical but more environmentally friendly solution. We're positive and hope that this project will be ready for series production. Storopak is also creating something new from chemically recycled raw materials, more precisely from EPS, also known to many as polystyrene. The 96-hour box makes it possible to transport medicines within a precisely defined temperature range. The Storopak 96-hour box is a pre-qualified system solution with which it is possible to transport different products at different temperatures. We also see it in the international and intercontinental transport of medicines and clinical studies. The highly regulated medical market places high demands on quality and hygiene. With ChemCycling, there is no difference between EPS and ChemCycling products, which has also been proven by chemical analyses. Cooling is also the topic here, BSH household appliances in Gingen, Germany. Several thousand refrigerators are produced here every day. Test amounts of the chem cycling material is being used to produce prototypes at the BSH site in Gingen. You can see that this screen, which I'm holding up, is completely transparent and made of recycled materials. That's a great thing for the environment. For us, as refrigerator manufacturer, it is of course always important that the material has a food safety certification. Because you put your food, your cheese, your sausages into such a refrigerator and it simply has to be flawless. And we're glad that with ChemCycling, we're able to process this material. Nevertheless, to move from the test phase to market maturity, different aspects still need to be clarified. For example, the technology for converting plastic waste into raw material has to be further developed and adapted for large-scale use. And chemical recycling has to be recognized by legislators and consumers. Chemical recycling is a new technology that of course has not yet been used on a large scale and is therefore not yet considered in the regulatory framework and laws. It is important that the mass balance method is also recognized for chemical recycling or for later products. 
The mass balance method is used to calculate how much recycled material the final product contains. This is already done with green electricity and has been quite well accepted by consumers. The application examples show chemical recycling works. However, those involved must invest a lot more work in this project. BASF and the partners in the value chain are working to supply BASF with high-quality pyrolysis oil for larger-scale production. In addition, a commitment from legislators to extend the definition of recycling is needed, as well as an environmental assessment. In the end, it is up to consumers to decide if this new recycling technology will be a success story. BASF. We create chemistry.